I'm still at the Valencia Ballroom at the Convention Center in Orlando, and I've just caught up with one very happy young man from Croatia, Ante Lucin, who has traveled with the Kerry Blue Terrier, and not only did he get through to the final 12 in the Yukonuba World Challenge, but he also won best of breed in a very strong entry under Gear Flick Pedersen at the American Kennel Club National Championship show. So, Ante, the first question is a stupid one, but it needs answering. Are you happy? Well, I'm absolutely happy. I, I think that um, the whole point of this trip was uh, we go really like for more or less for holidays and everything else is going to be just a plus and, uh, and like a topping on the cake of these holidays. And what has happened yesterday and today was really uh, a great bonus to this trip. Because you've actually been here um, for almost a week, I think, before and you took in some other shows. Yeah, we came uh, last week, we went to two sh old bridge shows to Miami and we arrived uh, last Monday here. So we have been like following all the days of the shows, showing every day and uh, the weekend was the best part of it. <laughs> now, this Kerry Blue, um, he looks a bit of a handful and yet when he's at home, he lives with your friends Igor and Ivana and they're two small kids. I've, I've been close to the dog, I've seen what a pussycat he is, but he gives you a tough time in the ring, eh? I mean, at home he is the sweetest possible thing that you can imagine. I mean, I don't think even think he realized that he's a carry blue, because he's really sweet with people, with children, with other dogs, males, females, doesn't matter. He's really the sweetest possible t dog in the world. But when he's in the ring, it's really like, I think that Every person in the world who wants to be a handler needs to get this dog and if they manage to show him they get, you know, passed through the finals and everything because he's really a tough dog. I mean, he's so full of energy and he, he was on uh, like six shows before yesterday and he's still full of energy and he's running every day and but I mean, it's everything is fine as long as the people don't st start to use the squeaky toys, then we are in trouble because he wants to catch them all and that's always problematic. When you were in the breed ring and, and, and the gear, what did you think your chances were? Well, I didn't really think that I had any chances, uh, actually, because we were showing the days before and uh, most of the American judges didn't really look the dogs from open class. Okay, today there was not open class, they were all in the same class. So, I mean, I knew I had a good dog, but I was not thinking that in the States, between 32 best American carries, I can get a breed with one dog from Europe. But it's finished really well. I mean, he was showing really well and... Uh, um, I'm really happy, really. So, you've you've had the full weekend. You've had the whole Yukonuba experience. So, what's what's? You, it's the first time you've actually ever been in the in the United States, isn't it? So, what did you think of the the treatment that you received back at the Hilton? Well, uh, it's what I repeated to the people from Yukonuba because I mean, since the first moment that we decided that we will come here and the dog w got qualified in Paris everybody was really helpful but I was never in my life thinking that they will be so great to us I mean I said earlier for one interview I said they were really treating us like kings and queens I mean there was not one single thing we asked and they didn't do for us um, I'm also organizing the shows I'm also I have been all around the world everywhere I have been to many dog shows to many press conferences to many uh, dinners and everything but these people from Yukonuba were just great so You've enjoyed yourself, haven't you? Well, we enjoyed and I hope it's going to be the same tomorrow in Disneyland and the day after in SeaWorld. I think it's going to be the real happy ending of this story. What would you say to those exhibitors at home who think they might try to get a dog qualified to come to compete at the Yukonuba World Challenge? I think that, um, I mean, I was, I was quite, uh, you know, I, I didn't think it was a big thing. I mean, it was like a trip to the States and uh, you know, a new experience, but I didn't think it was really a, something so important for me. I think I got an uh, incredibly important experience for my life. And I think that every person who is even thinking, you know, whether to do it or not to do it, should do it because it's really an extraordinary experience. And really, I think it's something that once in your life you need to try. Well, Ante, congratulations. You've had a wonderfully successful weekend, and I sincerely hope that you enjoy the rest of the trip with Disney World, Sea World, 
and all the other sites that you've got in store. And all the best with Vigo in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.